Segen is called Krönchenstadt because of the crown of its Nikolai Church. Some say it is a city built on seven hills because of the seven hills in and around Siegen. But it also is called Rubenstadt. During the next minutes you will learn about Siegen and its connection to the painter Peter Paul Rubens. Behind this door you can enter the museum in the Oberes Schloss. Among the history of the city you will find the so-called Rubenssaal with some of the famous Baroque artists' paintings. It is up there right behind these windows. Let's take a closer look. Self-portrait Rubens seldomly painted himself and preferred family portraits. It was painted in 1623 and commissioned by the Prince of Wales. He presents himself with the typical fashion accessories of that time. The Baroque painter doesn't give reference to his profession and sees himself as self-confident and sophisticated. The painting only discloses little about Rubens' personal traits. Occasional. The second picture is an allegoric appeal for peace. Caritas Romana. This unusual subject is based on a novel of Roman writer Valerius Maximus and tells the story of philosopher Simon, who was jailed and nourished by the breast milk of his daughter as she wasn't allowed to bring food when she visited him in jail. She saved his life this way. Don't worry, even seeing has a lot of steep hills, we are walking downhill. Rubens was one of the most famous Baroque artists. He was born in Siegen and lived in Cologne and later moved to Antwerp. Supposedly he has created around 1500 paintings. Especially remarkable was his treatment of the curvaceous female body in his artworks. As a reflection of the Baroque time, Ruben's woman was plump in size and sexual appeal, which gave rise to the term Rubenesque. Ruben's paintings are characterized by light and colorfulness, and he obviously took pleasure in imagining sensual appearance in his artworks. His most famous and significant paintings are exposed in museums in Antwerp, Madrid, Paris, Munich, London and Washington DC. Can you already hear the sound of children? Over there is a secondary school, the Realschule am Oberen Schloss. In the past, in this area, there was an important building for the history of Siegen and also Peter Paul Rubens' history. Here was the Brambachische Haus until it was destroyed in World War II. It was rent to the Rubens family from 1573 until 1578. Just turn left towards the schoolyard. Peter Paul Rubens' father, Dr. Johann Rubens, was a lawyer from Antwerp in Belgium. His wife was Maria. In 1568, the family had to flee from Antwerp to Cologne because of the religious unrest. There he worked as a consultant to Anna of Saxony, the second wife of Wilhelm von Oranien. After Johann and Anna started a relationship, he was arrested in Siegen and was sent to the prison in Dillenburg Castle in 1571 because of having an affair with a married woman. This is a memorial sign. It marks the place where Peter Paul Rubens was born. Supported by his wife Maria, the detention was converted into house arrest after two years, which the Rubens family spent in this house in Siegen. In these two years, Peter Paul Rubens was born here. One year after this, the family was allowed to move back to Cologne. Although he only lived in Siegen for a very short time, Siegen is called Rubenstadt today. To 
this day, Peter Paul shapes the cityscape in ever new motifs such as the graffiti and electrical box art by Zeva Grebel. Here you see the years of his birth and death. We will come to the exact or not so exact date of birth in a few minutes. Just follow my steps. We are on our way down to the Nikolai Church of Siegen. It was already there when Peter Paul was born in Siegen. The first documentary mention of Siegen goes back to the year 1079, named Siegena. When Peter Paul Rubens lived in the 16th century, the city of Siegen was surrounded by huge walls with 16 towers and three city gates and had a mighty castle. The three gates of the Siegen city fortifications were the Cologne Gate to the west, the Lörtor to the south and the Marburg Gate to the east. Walking down these steps, you reach the Kornmarkt in Siegen. The yellow building on the left is the city hall. Come closer and take a look at the wall. Peter Paul Rubens was probably born on June 28th in 1577. The date of birth is not clearly attested, as only one copper engraving, which was made nine years after Rubens' death, refers to June 28th. But also possible is the 29th of June, like mentioned on this sign at the City Hall of Siegen. It is a commemoration day for the Roman Catholic Church for Peter and Paul. This sign was a present for the 300-year anniversary of Rubens from the inhabitants of Siegen. We'll just take some more steps into the old town of Siegen. We're nearly at our destination. You will walk on more cobblestones soon, so please mind your steps. Enjoy the fresh, seeing air 
or make your way down to the Rubens self-portrait on the electric box and find the best ice cream in town at the ice cream parlor Das Naschwerk. It's at the central omnibus station next to the shopping mall City Gallery. They serve the so-called Rubensbecher, different sorts of ice cream with berries and caramelized almonds and hazelnuts. This house has an inscription written in Siegerländer dialect. It says that Peter Paul Rubens was born here in this house on June 28th in 1577. But at least the place of birth seems to be a wrong information due to the facts the copper engraving gives us. Nevertheless, this is a really beautiful part of the old town of Siegen. Many old houses are well preserved. The cobblestones give the streets their unique look and sound and sometimes even a cat is trolling around. <laughs> 